interesting uh, viewpoint, you know, that happened to Luke Skywalker that he found out his father was on in darkness. But guess what? If you're operating in life, your father is in darkness. And, you know, I hope you be shocked just like Luke was and said, look, I ain't going to follow, follow my father's footsteps and be of the light. But that's another message. But anyway, I had to say that. But uh, um, uh, I'm talking about being a child of God or, or I talk about children of the truth and, or lies. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to talk about uh, it's a learning factor. And this is very important, period, about anything in life. Everything is a learning factor factor is not now watch this now here's the thing people think being a christian is about being right you know what i'm saying it's about doing what's right doing what's right doing what's right doing what's right and that's all it's about doing what's whoa 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 what's right <laughs> i hope the car don't hit nobody and the thing is you know uh uh, but really being a Christian is about, you know, doing what's, I mean, understanding that, you know, guess what? You're going to do what's right and you're going to, you're going to find yourself doing, unfortunately, falling short to the glory of God. You're going to make mistakes in, you know, being a Christian and, you know, you're going to have ups and you're going to have downs. Uh. You're gonna have ups and you're gonna have downs. How y'all doing? But the thing is, you know, the, what's going to boil down to, are you going to learn how to become, you know, of the light? Are you gonna learn how to become a Christian? Are you gonna learn how to become a child of God? Is what is the ideal aspect of becoming of the light? It's not about how much right you do or how much wrong you do but it's about how much you are learning now i hope i can teach this idea and very importantly it's important for me to teach this right because this goes a long ways of people wanting to be a christian and what's the aspect of truly being a christian because you know it's just this religious system has really messed up the perception of of truly being a christian that you know like christians certain i mean most christians are kind of waking up to the religious perspective is hindering the development of a true christian you know what i'm saying and first of all we gotta acknowledge that you know that the ideal of being a christian and learning to be a christian is very is distorted you know what i'm saying because you know, as what Paul said, men will not endure sound doctrine. They should keep themselves as teachers of itchy ears. You know, people believe in fables and going away from the truth is unfortunately is the end result of what's going on right now of many Christians, unfortunately. And many Christians are not developing up to the standard of what the Word of God expects out of them you know what i'm saying like it's really like i do messages it's, it's called an all-out performance it's supposed to be an all-out performance it's not supposed to be a some performance it's supposed to be an all-out performance or an aiming for all performance if you're truly going to be about being a christian is what people need to understand but uh but the thing is, it's a matter of learning. As what the scripture says, Matthew 11, out of the words of Jesus Christ, you know, take his yoke and learn of him. You know what I'm saying? He said, take his yoke and learn. That's the, one of the most important ideal to understand, to truly be a Christian, to develop and grow more and more in God, that you are in a learning position. You will always remain in a learning position. I know I have learned a whole lot and I still know there's more to learn. You know what I'm saying? About the things of God. 
and uh, about a lot of things because you know I try to tell people uh, about my you know Mac Johnson reality. I it it's the I, ideal aspect that I live in the universe. I don't live in the earth. That means there's more to to what is reality than beyond my comprehension. So. Uh, that's what I need to understand concerning if I'm going to be about questioning what is reality and finding out the answer is is more learning to be involved in that ideal aspect of God that I respect and I'm willing to be about trying to find out every detail every aspect about the things of God concerning what's of him is what really is supposed to be a learning uh, desire or you have to be driven to be that way in order to accomplish what needs to be done to be a child of God to be in the image and the likes of God it's going to be a learning now it's not going to be about uh, how, uh, how much you did right and how much you did wrong see and that's the problem that messes up either sinners and Christians you know what I'm saying because the thing is because we can like a sinner can say well I did something wrong I did something wrong I did something wrong now I can't be become a Christian and it's like that is totally false you know what I'm saying concerning the examples throughout the Bible that is totally wrong concerning Peter example a Peter that in a natural followed Jesus Christ and did a lot of wrong things walking with Jesus Christ you know what I'm saying and at the you know time of Jesus Christ being you know uh, arrested you know uh, he he literally you know fought the you know the uh, Jewish officer cutting him man's ear off and and Jesus wondering why he's doing that what are you doing here Peter why you why you pretty much why you messing up the will of God Peter you know Peter was messing up the will of God and bam, Peter went to deny Jesus Christ three times, you know? The ideal aspect of Christianity shows that there was imperfect people following Jesus Christ. But when, when, they, uh, when Jesus, you know, uh, rose from the dead and called Peter and, and said, Peter, you know, uh, you know uh, uh, go get Peter and tell him I rose from the dead. And, you know, got Peter, you know, and his apostles in the upper room. People that he, Jesus, watch this. Jesus is going to position people and empower his, the apostles, Peter and all his apostles. These are the people that left him by himself to get arrested by the Jewish authority. You know what I'm saying? The only disciple that was there when Jesus Christ's crucifixion was John. You know what I'm saying? These are the guys that dipped on Jesus. You know what I'm saying? That we say, and bam, Jesus tells them to come back and tell them to go to the upper room to be endured with power on high. He's going to empower people that did wrong things in his ministry. The ideal aspect of that should let people know about true Christianity, that this thing is not about, uh, it's not all about what you did wrong. It's not what you did wrong and what you did wrong. And, and it's all about how much you're learning how to do what's right unto God is what the aspect is. Now, I want to talk about living right. Now, watch this. Like, I love about, you know, David's story can really show forth that idea. Here's a man after God's own heart. David was doing it right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he defeated Goliath. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, he, 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 he did a lot of right things. And, 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 and he, he, you know, helped Saul, you know, play harp for Saul. When Saul get troubled in his spirit, he played his, uh, his uh, harp toward with Saul to calm him down. Um, he, uh, he became king and bam, he uh, took Jerusalem, the place right now, the holiest place, Jerusalem. He created Jerusalem and he brought back the Ark of the Covenant. He's doing all these good things unto God. And all of a sudden in his height, of him being king, you know what I'm saying, you know, doing all these great things, taking back the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem, doing all these great things about God, he finds himself committing adultery with his uh, soldiers that are fighting battle, which he's supposed to be doing, and now sleeping with her, 
and now trying to get him to sleep with his wife and his soldier wouldn't do it and now find himself murdering uh, him, you know what I'm saying, to cover it up. I mean, right there, he was doing good. He was doing good and doing good. And now he's doing bad and doing bad. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, that aspect of doing what's right is not what it's supposed to be all about. But it's one thing it's supposed to be all about if you want to truly be a child of God. It's about learning. See, but uh, David learned a lesson in it. I mean, the disciples learned a lesson. David learned a lesson. You know what I'm saying? You know, and the disciples learned a lesson from an um, aspect that they did wrong. They did wrong. You know what I'm saying? Walking with Jesus. And all of a sudden, bam, Jesus died on the cross. But now God is going, I mean, Jesus Christ is going to tell them to get empowered. And bam, they start really doing, going all out for God concerning the kingdom of God and establishing the church. Here's, here's, and and here's Peter, David, David doing what's right. David doing what's right. David doing what's right. Boom, he started doing what's wrong, doing what's wrong. And he learned from the lesson of what he did concerning, you know, the, the wrong he did. And, and now he's doing more right. See, it's a learning factor. It's not so much about what's doing what's right doing what's wrong are you learning to learn to be righteous but here's the thing about uh, in these aspects of these people's lives that they learn uh what about themselves they learn about you know that you know peter and you know disciples but I, I didn't know even though i made mistakes walking with jesus christ that i can be empowered to really minister the gospel of Jesus Christ to everybody that come across to Peter didn't know that you know he had the power he was going to be in dual power that they said in the Bible that people will touch his shadow you know what I'm saying they'll get healed you know he he did not know that 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 he even being a sinful man that it says in Luke uh, I believe four or five chapter I forgot being a sinful man a sinful man can bam do something uh bring salvation to many and uh, minister the gospel of Jesus Christ. He didn't know that was about him. David didn't know, you know, he was capable, he will be to a place of capable in a high position of committing uh, adultery and murder in the, uh, as being king of Israel. But he learned that it's possible. So guess what? In that learning, you develop a reverence you know what I'm saying? Of of God. You throw the reverence of God who you who God is first and who you are. And you will be about in a genuine, you'll be genuinely uh pursuing a purpose to be more like him because you understand of of, of what it, you can do when you have God in you. And you will understand a purpose of what you're serving that I learn myself you learn the purpose of what this is all about and and when you have a learning perspective of, of becoming a Christian that's what's supposed to develop don't so don't make a big deal of doing bad but don't make a big deal of doing good but make a di big deal of learning that I must learn how to live right see I love what David uh, says in his psalms I, uh, one, he always says teach me your ways lord teach me your uh truth that i may know your truth he always say teach me your ways teach me thy truth you know what i'm saying see teach me so i can learn how to be more like you that because when i learn to be more like you i truly become more like you is what really is the aspect all about guess what we'll stumble we'll fall but as what Paul says, but uh, we press towards the mark of the high calling of God through Christ Jesus. This is about becoming in, made in the image and the likeness of God is what this journey is supposed to be about. Becoming more, Genesis 1, 26, made in the image and likeness of God through Jesus Christ is what's supposed to be the genuine purpose of you pursuing. Yes, it will get difficult. Yes, you will have bad times. Yes, you will have good times, but you're pressing towards him is what the ad, idea aspect of Christianity is supposed to be all about. All right, that's the message. I hope you understand it's a learning factor. It's not so much about what's right, what's wrong, it's how much you're learning, how to, uh, the purpose of what you're trying to accomplish. 
is what being a child of God is supposed to be all about. And that's the message. Happy Lord. Come from never in Jesus' name, man.